In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix group FaceTime not working in iOS 17 or later on your iPhone. Troubleshooting FaceTime can be a bit frustrating, but by following these simple and effective steps, you can hopefully get back to chatting with your friends and family in no time. Let's start with the basics, your internet connection. Ensure that you're connected to a robust Wi-Fi network or have a good cellular signal. Sometimes simply being connected isn't enough. Network strength plays a crucial role in ensuring that your group FaceTime functions smoothly. If you're experiencing issues, try switching between Wi-Fi and mobile data. This helps in identifying whether your connection source is causing the problem. Next, let's look at updating your iOS. Software updates often include bug fixes for common issues, including those with FaceTime. Go to your settings, then tap on General, and proceed to Software Update to check for any available updates. Keeping your iPhone updated ensures that you're running the latest version with all the essential fixes. If updating iOS didn't resolve the issue, try toggling FaceTime off and on. Navigate to Settings, then Apps and find FaceTime. Turn it off, give it a few seconds and then turn it back on. This simple reset can sometimes clear up any internal issues that might be hindering the app's performance. Another effective solution is to reset your network settings. To do this, go to Settings, then General, followed by Transfer or Reset iPhone. Choose Reset, and then Reset Network Settings. Keep in mind that this will erase all your saved Wi-Fi passwords, so be sure to have them handy to re-enter. This method can resolve conflicts in your network settings that may be affecting FaceTime. Sometimes a simple restart of your device can work wonders. It can clear up temporary glitches that might be affecting your phone's ability to make video calls. So don't underestimate the power of a restart. Also, it's a good idea to check Apple's system status webpage. This is where you can see if FaceTime is currently experiencing any outages. If the service is down, it's likely not something you can fix on your end, and you'll just have to wait for Apple to resolve the issue. Lastly, if none of the above solutions work, it might be time to contact Apple support. There could be more complex issues at play that require professional troubleshooting from Apple's team. They can provide more advanced insights and possible fixes for your situation. By thoroughly following each of these steps, you should be able to resolve most issues with group FaceTime on iOS 17 or later. Remember, keeping your software up to date and maintaining a strong internet connection are key elements in ensuring your iPhone's features work seamlessly. Thanks for tuning in and I hope these tips bring you a swift resolution.